I realise this is a bit late, but I'm going to talk about Triathlon Yenisir, which I competed in a couple of weeks ago now. It's a European Cup over in Turkey. It was ridiculously fast. I think it might have been one of the fastest European Cups. I'm going to say ever? I, I mean, I haven't looked into it in extensive research or anything like that, but it was so quick. And there's a few different factors that I'll go into in the rest of this video um, about why that might have been the case. So I was a little bit nervous uh, on the start line. Uh, we lined up in ranking order. I was quite low on the ranking, so I think I was like 64th or 67th or something. And which meant I got the la one of the last picks on the start line. But that being said, it wasn't a horrific spot. I probably would have wanted to go that way anyway. It was on the far right-hand side of the group, uh, near some of the better swimmers anyway. Um, Ollie, Yeston, and a few other very good swimmers started that side, and I was kind of confident that if they were, hopefully I would come out near them uh, out of the water if I could kind of tactically maneuver myself around and through the swim. So before starting, it was unbelievable conditions. So the water was pan flat, I, literally a mill pond, couldn't believe it. And as a swimmer, I'm like, okay, similar conditions to a pool, great, perfect. And it felt like that too. So as soon as we got in the water for the warm up, it was so easy to, to swim. The, the water was so salty, so it was so buoyant. It was a wetsuit swim as well. Not sure if that benefits me or not. I'm relatively good without a wetsuit and with a wetsuit other people come into the fold because weaker swimmers get a better body position and they can stick in the mix a little bit longer. But I was quite happy with the conditions and how the race started essentially. So anyway, the gun went off and I got like an average start, nothing special, nothing spectacular. I wasn't the first off the line, I wasn't the last. Hit the water, I'm quite sure. Like, there's no escaping it, and that does not benefit a beach start. Short legs and not too much hip flexibility to get over the waves, over the water, um, in shallow water, doesn't really benefit me too much. So I didn't get like the best start, but I managed to dive in and I was in the mix. So got my head down and onwards to the first boy, which is about 340 meters away, which is good for me because if I don't get a good start, I can always maneuver my way through the pack uh, on the way to the first boy, which I sort of did. I kind of got half decent space. There was a lot of swash around me. Uh, the washing machine was a go. Like I was getting mounted from behind, uh, grabbed actually on the ankles and things like that. So it wasn't ideal. And I just tried to relax and get as good a uh, position as I could getting to that first boy. I didn't have too much contact, which you do tend to have in these sort of races but I managed to maneuver around pretty seamlessly and then on the way back, again, tried to maneuver my way as far, far forward as I could. I thought that I could see the front of the race pretty clearly, and I could. I, I wasn't too far behind. However, a lot of people were in line with me um, coming out of the water. So despite only being about eight seconds behind the leader, there was also about 15 people around me uh, that got out of the water at the same time. So it didn't look like I got up or out of the water that high up in the seedings or rankings or positions. However, it was close to the front or close enough to the front that when I went through transition and got on the bike, which I all did pretty well for me, like I think I executed that really, really well. By the time I got onto the bike and to the first corner, we'd caught the front of the race.
So there was quite a few of us at the, this point. However, not as many as when everyone came together by the end of the first lap. So it was a pretty flat, not technical bike course. So we've gone from a flat pancake flat swim to a pancake flat bike ride with a rolling surface, rolling uh, with a road surface with a rolling resistance which was next to nothing. So it was so quick along the surface of the road. It was just tarmac, but it was like marble. It might as well have been marble. So anyway, I'd like to say that it was a pretty standard bike ride. I was, I felt relatively strong. I hadn't overexerted myself in the swim. I managed to position myself quite well on the bike, uh, going around the corners, coming into the dead turns, and sticking near the front out of trouble. The majority of the race, until probably the most important part of the race, which was the last lap, where I just wasn't expecting it. This is my lack of race experience. Everyone pushed forward. Everyone obviously wanted to be near the front on that last lap and I just didn't anticipate the rush to get there and because of that I ended up out of position and at the back of the group or in the middle of the group which I wasn't comfortable with because everyone was breaking left right and centre and I was like this is so sketchy I'm gonna bail out so basically just tapped the brakes went to the back of the group and then maneuvered my way around to the side to try and go up the inside line to get back to the front which just the door got closed on me and I was like, okay, that's way too sketchy. I can't launch myself up the inside here. I'm, I'm gonna try the outside. Went there, maneuvered my way up the outside into the dead turn. Uh, and I was out of position and there was no one there. I was able to go around the outside, but there was no one there for a reason. There was a big pothole of which I went down. Alas, about, I don't know, a few minutes later, my tyre was completely flat by the time I got to the next corner, which was about a K away from the end of the lap and the bike ride. So I had to ride the last K on my own, on the rim of the wheel, and I lost about a minute. And, and that was sort of my race over, because when you lose a minute to the front of the group or front of the race, they're not coming back because, I mean, there's about 20 people within 15 seconds at, at the end of the race. So, or more, 30 people even. So yeah, I, I, I managed to get to the end of the bike ride and then did my best to run uh, off the back of that. But you're out of the race, like it's really hard to motivate yourself to keep on going to chase people down, of which I did. But yeah, it was like when you're out of the race and you're not in amongst people and being able to be driven forward by the group, it's one of those. But yeah, I managed to finish the race and I was so, so happy with how I executed it. Like to have that first race under the belt and having executed it quite well, I was really happy. Like in terms of my race processes and the goals that I went into the race with, I couldn't have really asked for too much more on the first race of the season. Yeah, sure, a nice position would have been good and I didn't get that, but I, I did what I could with with what I had and the, the fortune or misfortune that I had with the puncture. But yeah, it was such a quick race. I think the first 750 meter swim was done in an average of 105 per 100. That is so quick. And it's because of the wetsuits, because of the sea salt and because of the fact that it was pancake flat with a lot of fast swimmers within there. Not only that, the bike ride was Again, low rolling resistance. It was about 46 kilometers an hour average. That's so, so quick. The run, I mean, Abdul Mullah was there and he ran a 1440, I think it was, or uh, converted 1435 maybe, because it was a little bit long on the run. And which reminds me, the swim was bang accurate because I went and measured it with a GPS twice and Luke measured it with uh, an eyesight, a laser sight. So, can't really dispute that. 
but yeah, the, the run was a little bit long and he still ran like a 1440, which is rapid. So anyway, we only ended up doing a 50 minute race because it was so quick. And yeah, the, the, the run was, it was flat and it was just out and back, so it wouldn't have been too slow either. But anyway, I had a really good race. I really, really enjoyed it. I'm really looking forward to the next race, which will be Clanetti. And hopefully I can just improve on what I've already done with a bit of race practice. And I think it's going to be really competitive, really competitive. There's going to be some really good uh, athletes there and I'm looking forward to mixing it up with them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.